Welcome to lesson six, uh, Masks and Channels. This is a very um, key concept, just like selections, um, taking masks and channels, uh, it, it, masks and channels are taking selection to the next level. So it's a very key um, concept to get, so we wanna take this a little bit slow. Um, masks are a powerful way to control both where and how much an effect changes an image. Um, this lesson guides through the extensive uh, masking features and we'll start by creating one and then refining it. Um, then you'll learn about the relationships between selections, masks, and channels. Um, so what we learned in lesson three with selections, we'll be able to refine and do them better and more effectively and for uh, additional purposes, really. Um, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to understand the differences between them. And um, quick mask mode is basically a selection marquee shown in a different form. It gives you a visual appearance of your uh, selection. An alpha channel, if you look here, you'll see it in the channels panel. I don't, we don't have one right now. All we have is the RGB composite channel plus the R, G, and the B separated out. And alpha will show up there. An alpha channel is a little bit like alpha dog. It will tell the channels when it's turned on, it'll tell the channels what to do. Um, a layer mask is an alpha channel that's tied to a specific layer. And that will show in your layers. There'll be the little marriage link, the little uh, horse bit looking icon. And then there'll be a mask on that same layer. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'll walk you through creating the quick mask. Won't do the entire um, exercise because this is about a, an hour. And the puppet uh, warp is pretty straightforward. So I'll let you guys go ahead and go through that. So I'm going to do a quick selection of our main. We're in uh, six start. Do a quick selection, which is hiding behind my magic wand tool. It's going to default to my last settings. I'm going to shift click, including his nose and his white shirt. We will refine, I'm doing shift click and I'm adding to my selection. You'll see here we haven't gotten a lot of stray areas with his shirt. Let's see if we can try and get the lens of his glasses without getting into the gray value. The reflection of his lenses, very close in color value. Not necessarily color matching, but the value, if you look at the layers, um, it would be about that much on those layers. And, and Photoshop doesn't really detect the difference in that sense. So we've got a quick selection. Now we're gonna come over here below our foreground background. We're gonna hit quick mask. Now you can see there, the pink is showing where our mask is. So we're gonna look in our properties. In the properties panel, we need to pull that guy up. Should I say window properties because it's not showing here. And in our mask mode. Hmm. Yeah, we're not getting that. Select and mask. Okay, here's our properties. It's not showing us that for some reason when we're in preview. So if you look in your preview mode, choose on on black. Say on black. So we want to adjust the edge. Shift 
edge. And what we're getting here, if you look, it's exactly doing that. It's shifting your edge. You want to play with that and see what your selection is getting you. There's really not much of a black. So I made that opacity. And you can see here we're adjusting the areas of what is included in the mask and what is not. So we'll go through and see what other um, settings that they've recommended. And smooth is 15. Again, in real life you won't have these settings. This is not really something you can follow every time. These are just sort of settings that they're showing you what it does and how it affects it. Um, they've only got this as minus eight. In reality, when you actually need to do this, you will just pull the sliders and see how it looks and what's best. You want to cut in a little bit. This is a bit like <clears throat> the contrast in selection that I was showing you in um, uh, uh, chapter three. Decontaminate colors. New layer with layer mask. And you can have it remember settings. Um, now we still have some white in the hair background and that is an area that we can paint in and out. Hair is, uh, actually have a seminar uh, based on the Noble Desktop one of just for hair. You can also visit them for a seminar. So now he's on the pixel background. So it's also called a silhouette, but in this case we did our silhouetting which is pulling an image off of a background image into the foreground and replacing the background. So here we have this pixel magazine background. And here's the uh, bit and the, uh, the mask layer. So when you go in and you see here, I've got a square highlighted around the image. This is showing that I'm touching the image. Here it's showing I'm adjusting my mask. So in this case, you can go in and you'll notice that the white area and then the black area. So we're going to go in and paint to correct his hair, but we have to go back to our little teeny squares over here and click that to set to our default. So when we paint in black, it's um, going to cover. So go into your paintbrush. And we're in, not in the mixer brush. What setting am I on here? I'm in painting mode. So here's my paint brush. And I'm going to, see I'm on the wrong layer there. Did you see that? I was painting actual black. I want to be in my mask. And I want to reverse that to black be in the foreground. And now I'm deleting. Do you see how it's erasing? It's a bit of a thick brush. You can go ahead and play with that. You could also use something that wasn't as shaped like this. You can also go in and append. Remember I showed you this with the square brushes. You can go in and add different types of brushes, say append. Go down and you can find different consistencies. And that's a little large for something like that. But that will help you make it look a little more natural when you're trying to get. There's actually um, hair brushes that you can, it's like blades of grass, kind of like for animation. You can download those like off a website. Um, let's try a calligraphy, say append always, otherwise it'll get rid of your stuff. Try something at an angle. And you can work within the constraints and try and make this look a little more natural, like hair. And you can also work in an opacity. 
to sort of blend this out in areas that's a little strong. I kind of want something that's a little bit jumpier. You can have this in here. Oops, that's way too big. You gotta experiment a little bit and play around. And you can also adjust that. So you can adjust your angle to which way you're gonna go. And then you can work in that area and sort of just get this more to get rid of that white so it doesn't show through as much. So you have to sort of play with these things. It's a little arch. And sort of get rid of these areas so that when you sort of go zoom out and when you watch it at 100, if you view it at 100, which is command zero is fit to window, that's 100%. You want to go in and keep making moves until this looks natural. Oops. So this looks natural and until you can sort of get rid of these, um, that's painting and showing it. You can always just go back and forth. It's bringing out some of the smaller ones. And we want to just show that's not looking that natural. But you can see how the edge painting in the mask if you go back in and just try something like that we want to go in and we're working and trying to get deletion the idea is get in there tight and get rid of these hard lines right because that's what's making his sort of punk hair there stick out and you really have to finesse this and work at it for a while um, remember when you're in opacity it's not going to delete all of it if you needed to go in there and sort of go delete certain sections like that make it look a little more natural it wouldn't be jutting out like that you can do that so that's where I went back up to oh, closer to a hundred And sometimes if you're blending it into a background, it will be much less noticeable that you cut it from a lighter background to a darker.